those who have experienced being with someone who is suffering and is in pain know how difficult it is. Personally, I have a, such a reflex to immediately go to such a person to help and ask and advise, but, not, but this is not always necessary. Because this language is, this language of counseling and comforting can be called the word of today's gospel. We read in the gospel from this child who is dying is a loud crowd. Death and envy lost need above all silence, such as enveloping and compassionate silence. This story ends unexpectedly, such a resurrection of joy, but by raising a child. What does this story teach us? What should we get out of it? Beloved, the point is not to make a lot of slogan in the face of someone's pain or loss. Today we learn that Jesus took the girl by the hand and raised it up. Jesus, as the, he raised Peter's mother-in-law, and similarly, Jesus also took the hand of the blind man and the possessed boy at the other times. Beloved, every time I read this passage, I have a, in front of my eyes a picture of Jesus who takes by the hands and raises. God who gives us a man a hand to get him out of the trouble. How much comforting power must have been in this gesture of Jesus? How many people Jesus said this way, you can trust me. We all remember the story of Saint Faustina and the image of the merciful Jesus with the inscription, Jesus, I trust in you. Returning to the gospel, we see how people saw this healing power uh, with complete confidence wanted to touch Jesus' clothing at least. Jesus arouses such a faith. Today it may amaze us why others could not see this power and even openly disagree with it until it was ridiculed. What did Jesus do? He ordered them removed. This scene is like a foretaste of adjustment. The ridiculers were separated from the trusting and removed. Beloved, let us, ar let us ask ourselves what does it look like today? The dispute over trust in Jesus goes on every day. Everything that happens around us takes place inside our soul. We don't always trust, but we want to trust and we often trust. We only wish to grasp Jesus' extended hand and touch it. <laughs>